Yeah. I don't know what happened. Oh! Oh! What's up, everybody? Today, we have a guest in our house. We usually bake with this guest. Uh, this guest has been on JK with us before, and she's a sister to me, and is none other than Julia. Hello, I am back. We're here to make more egg tarts. Yes, we are. Me and Julia, we've been obsessed with making egg tarts. I just, why do we, why, do, why are we making egg tarts? Just trying to get closer to our Kanto roots? I think so. Yeah, like I we mean, just started doing it and we're like, we gotta keep, we gotta keep perfecting, we gotta perfect it. Honestly, like Jim's Bakery in Monarch Park was the one that made me be like, man, I really, like, those egg tarts are wild. If you guys haven't been there, you guys should definitely try it. Try their, like, their Portuguese egg tart, which is like the potats, and then yeah. the, uh, the regular egg tart, which is their Hong Kong style one. You should definitely try it, and you'll know what I mean. And then ever since that day, I've just been obsessed. Like, I want to know, like, can egg tarts be easily made, and can I make them really delicious, just like Jim's? And what have we found so far? <laughs> we suck at making <laughs> That they're ridiculously hard to make. They're literally handcrafted. Like I've been searching, like, is there a machine that pumps like the crust out, like into the shape and the mold? No, they're all just handcrafted. You have to like press it into the. Well, there is a mold, but you you press it with your thumbs, and there's no actual like machine yeah. that presses it into the mold. So yeah. Or maybe there is, and we have no idea. True. Maybe there is. Maybe There's some top secret like uh, Hong Kong chef that's like, no, I got the secret, just not telling you. There's like the ancient Chinese way. So we got this started. All right, so it's been a while since we made egg tart. So we last all of quarantine basically of 2020. Yeah. We were obsessed with making egg tarts and I think we got pretty good at one point, but now it's been half a year since the last time we met up to make egg tarts. <laughs> I've forgotten everything. I was just like, are we supposed to mix the butter in the dough? And then Casey was like, no, 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 we gotta roll out the dough. And then we like spread the butter on it and fold it in. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, you right. And then I was just <laughs> thinking, wow, this is really sticky. Was it always the sticky? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I don't remember any of this. Yeah, it's one of those uh, doughs where like it literally sticks to the tabletop, and you gotta use the the flour. The, you, the yeah, you have to scrape it off, okay. and then and then it melts on you because this this butter needs to be room temp. But then the more you touch it with your hands, your yeah. body temperature, it, it melts the butter even more. Yeah. So it's a uh, it's a messy business making egg tarts. Why did we sign up for this? I don't know why. We like the way it tastes. And we like the, the mouth feel. Mouth feel is so important. The texture of a egg tart, the flaky crust, and then the nice creamy uh, custard in the middle. And the satisfaction that you made it. The satisfaction that yeah. we made it, exactly. So we only tried the matcha flavor once. We actually vlogged it last time, but we added too much matcha. So th today we're gonna lessen the matcha. We're gonna see if uh, we can find that proper matcha amount to add into the egg tart. So we're gonna do matcha today. We're gonna do the uh, traditional Portuguese style one. And we're also maybe thinking about making the Hong Kong one. Yeah, with the different crust. With the cookie crust. Yeah, with the Woo! Like I'm so hungry right now for sweets, and I don't. I never crave sweets. That's I'm like, I so just, weird. I have it in my head to like. Just, I just want to. I want to eat. Um, you know what I've I've been craving too lately is uh, uh, lopo bang. Oh! Uh, wife, wife biscuit, wife. Like, what do you call that? Wife biscuit I think in so, English. Yeah. yeah, it's a traditional Chinese bakery item. It's made out of winter melon as a filling, and it's so good. And I've been craving that uh, like crazy recently and also a nice glass of Hong Kong milk tea I've been craving. You know what? Today we're gonna do egg tarts. And uh, upon Julia's request, I bought, I bought some condensed milk. Yeah! And some evaporated milk. So you already know what I'm about to do with that. That is about to become part of this. Making Hong Kong milk tea. Let me, let me, let me tell you guys something, all right? All right, tell me. So Casey, for all the years I've known him, um, he is like a Hong Kong tea connoisseur because he always likes to try out different Hong Kong milk teas. And he has like different opinions for each one of them. And I was like, I'm wondering what is Casey's like perfect cup of Hong Kong milk tea? And he always talks about every single time I come here. And I'm like, well, where is it? Where is it, bro? I need oh, to Oh snap, it out. the pressure's on. <laughs> so you're expecting the perfect cup of Hong no, Kong no, milk tea I'm, from me. I'm expecting what your taste of Hong Kong milk tea is. Gotcha. Because like gotcha. I found some places that I like. 
Uh -huh. But you know, you were like, mm, I kind of wanted more like this. And I was like, all right, all right, Mr. Hong Kong milk tea connoisseur, you, you show me, you show me what makes a good Hong Kong milk tea. All right, well, the pressure's on to uh, impress Julia today. Ooh, don't mess up, Casey, don't mess up. Here are the ingredients. Well, these are for later. It's actually close to Tres Leches, which is Dos Leches. Dos Leches Hong Kong milk tea. Uh, so a lot of milk teas usually use uh, a blend of black teas. So for me today, I'm going to use some Ceylon. I'm going to use some uh, Kimun and Assam. And the big difference, the big key to making Hong Kong milk tea is to not steep in hot water, but to boil in hot water for about two to three minutes. That's the big key. So a lot of, you know, English style teas is to just simply put it in hot water. You don't want to like get that sour taste. In Hong Kong milk tea though, we're like, get that sour taste, get that crazy tea flavor. Wait, wait, is it sour or is it bitter? Bitter. I think there's a there's a there's a note of sourness yeah. uh, when you boil it. Like it, if you just drink it like without the milk, yeah, it, it tastes sour to me. Kind of like how like uh, like coffee, black coffee is. Like there's coffee is bitter, right? Mm -hmm. But there's an aroma to it, and then sometimes there's like notes of like citrus. Yes. There's, like notes of like sourness, yeah. mm -hmm. especially like Blue Bottle. Blue Bottle has like that sour coffee. Mm -hmm. So uh, to me, this is kind of like that too, where it's like there's like notes of like just. <laughs> Sharp. It's a sharp flavor. How about that? We won't say sour. See, see, see what I'm saying? Connoisseur right here. No, 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 no. I'm just really picky, I guess. Really, really picky with my Hong Kong milk tea. All right, so we have our water boiling. And now we add our tea leaves. Right, we're gonna add a lot. One, two. That's enough for that one. So this, I'm making just enough for two glasses, two cups. So then we do the other one, another mix. Oh, you're gonna smell it. Two. Oh, and we're gonna let that boil for two to three minutes. Yo, that smells so good. It smells good, right? Oh my god. What kind Did of blend is this? <laughs> uh, just this. Ceylon, Kimun, Assam. Mm -hmm. So these are like Indian mm -hmm. um, teas mm -hmm. from India. And then this is the Chinese tea. Chinese tea. <sighs> Only you guys were here, it just smells so fragrant. Like Yeah, because otherwise you don't you don't get this like aroma if you're just steeping it. Like if you just pour hot yeah. water in, like like tea is very it's very light. Yeah, I mean, I definitely smell like black tea, which is kind of really hard to explain to you. It's not really floral like a jasmine green tea. It's like very dark. Man, it's, oh! That's for the egg carts. Our dough is done, We're so I gotta Hong roll Kong it out. The house. I thought <laughs> you could smell that. This is happening. <laughs> All right, so once it is finished boiling, we strain it. That's why it's spilling. Dang it. This is stupid. How'd it break? Pour fast. There we go. Spoonful of this goes in there. Another spoonful of this goes in there. So how's the uh... I don't remember any of these things. Like the butter just came out and I don't know if this is right or if I'm maybe like not rolling it. It happened way. to us last time too. It when, did. Yeah, it, it was did. just popped out. Oh well. I'm just gonna keep rolling until we fold in all this butter and then we chill. Alright, well to yeah. fuel you through the journey of making egg tarts, yes. I present to you my Hong Kong milk tea. I hope it's not too watery actually. I smell the condensed milk. Yeah, condensed milk, evaporated milk, tea. Oh. Really? Let me, let me drink it. This I, is what you mean? I haven't tried it yet. It's um, it's surprisingly light. Yeah. 
It is light. I could have boiled it longer. Yeah. It's very light. Is this how you, is this how you like your Hong Kong goat peas? The sugar ratio, yes, is okay. how I like it. Because yeah. a lot of places serve it too sweet for me. Yeah. And I, I kind of like the less sweet and I want to preserve the tea flavor. Mm -hmm. Like less of a dessert. Right. But I could have gone way more on the tea flavor. Should have boiled it for like four minutes. Also, I think a lot of uh, really good places, they get really good teas. I'm just buying teas off of Amazon. I think there's a limit to how good the Amazon teas can do. If you actually know your vendor, you're getting like some like grade A Asian teas. I'm sure their aroma is gonna be through the roof. All right, so one of the things that we had to discover over the course of last year was cooking the custard like this. Yeah, just slightly, just slightly. Just mm -hmm. a little bit before we actually bake it. Yeah, before you bake the custard, you have to pre-cook it and slightly thicken it through the cooking process of double boiling. So I have hot water in there boiling in the, in the bigger pot and we put the smaller pot into the boiling water to softly and gently cook our custard here. Now, we want to avoid the uh, scrambled egg uh, possibility, so we have to keep stirring it. And once it starts thickening, we take it off the heat. Yeah. Woo. Woo. All right, and while they are cooking, we have a guest here, it's Antoine. Hello, everybody. This is, I think I this is the very first time you might be like, I've featured. Been here. I've been here virtually. No, 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 featured in a vlog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I let you know the first time in the house, I was like, I've been in here several times. Yeah, virtually. virtually. <laughs> True. Yeah, so in case you guys didn't know, Antoine was our editor. Well, he's not like, not anymore. It's just that we haven't given him any projects recently. <laughs> but. That's what I told Michael too. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I just haven't got anything in a while. I know. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he, but he was editing a lot of our vlogs before. And we then. Slow, we slowed down our own production. Yeah. 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 Really so it's because Casey really wanted to start editing again. He was like, I kind of miss it. So then we we're like, okay, we'll give Antoine like different projects. We just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah. So you know what's so freaking cool about Antoine, you guys? He actually has his own book series, like young adult. Young adult and adult, yeah. Yeah. but not okay. Veronica adult. Oh, just, oh yeah. Just that it's not for yeah, it's, kids. It's, uh, it's called fiction. I always get nonfiction yeah, fiction confused. Yeah, fiction. Yeah, but it's really fantasy. So exactly. The fantasy genre. So what, what, tell me what's the name of your book, promote it. <laughs> Well, the one that is like the main one right now yeah. is the young adult one that you mentioned, which yeah. is called TJ Young and the Orishas, the Gatekeeper Staff, which is based on West African mythology. That is um, so freaking cool. Like my ancestry, my yeah. Yeah. and the Yoruba people. I absolutely love that because we always have to be proud of our culture, you know, and like, yes. and also preserve that and pass it on. So I freaking love that. Isaac, Isaac. Yeah. You want to come down and say hello to people? I'm in the middle, okay, uh, guys. Or I guess when you're done. Big old gamer kid, uh, look at you. Can you guys cover me? Cute, that's just so cute. I'm such a mom about it. Oh, cute. This is so exciting, because we actually haven't had Antoine physically visit. We haven't even seen him in like over a year, like since before the pandemic started. So it's been really cool to like have a little reunion. Also, Ryan's heading over. So we're gonna get to see him. And he's an editor at JK2 and he also like JK News Tech. I haven't seen him in a while because I haven't been into the office in a long time. So yeah, this is fun having everyone here. Hey, what's up, tall guy? How are you doing? Look why, at this man. Why is his voice like that? <laughs> it's not even the same voice. I know. From even three months ago. <laughs> How does that even, even his little chuckle! He said he tried to hide it. His little chuckle, even the tiniest chuckle is different. Yeah, dude, what happened? Who told you, who gave you permission to grow? Uh, you. <laughs> it's almost like you're like putting on the voice, but it's not. That's just yeah. you now. It's just gonna be Isaac for like the rest of the days. Yep. Yep. Yo, yo, yo. Cutie. Yo. And My big boy. Too. Oh yeah, you see? No, 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 it's a mustache. You gotta call it a mustache. It's a mustache. No, I had it too. Like, like <laughs> right before high school, I had peach fuzz for like a long time. My mom said I was born with peach fuzz. Oh, and cute. And then I got like older and then it became like a natural. Then it yeah. was a mustache. And then I got to like be 20 and then it was like the beard. Yeah, look at this. Can we can we get a close up on the, like, on the mustache? Gross. Look at that. Look at that, that peach fuzz. Mustache. All right, so yeah. we're also gonna do a matcha. Uh, egg tart batch. So we got our uh, second batch of egg custard. 
We're gonna add some mush to it. Get some Wait, are you sure? Huh? Sure of what? Wait, what, what, was, what was your crit criticism? What was it? It wasn't just mine. There were other people in the room. Oh, really? Do you not remember? Let's that it wasn't as good? Vlog. To defend ourselves, I guess we put too much matcha. We kind of know what yeah. we messed up. Yeah, like, matcha is like such high quality that doesn't have that like bitter matcha taste. But then I think maybe you guys were going after the color or something? Yes, like, we, yeah. were, we were cooking with our eyes and not so much from a culinary perspective. Yeah. But I, I also remember Casey was like, ah, I like caffeine. <laughs> True. Oh, do you hear that? Yes, oh, I have a problem. Right here. That's why I don't drink caffeine anymore. No more coffee, no more tea. Just today, I'm, I'm doing some Hong Kong milk tea, a little true. bit of matcha, but normally no, no caffeine. But that's how it all starts, Casey. True. Tomorrow, I'm gonna feel it, and tomorrow I'm gonna be craving more for more, and I'm gonna have to go through the withdrawal process again. <sighs> so this is one scoop. Is it? It doesn't look like much, right? Doesn't it compel you to do another scoop? <laughs> I guess so. Like. Well, that's it, two? right? No, 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 no. We'll okay, just do okay, one. Okay. We'll just do one. We'll just do one. I... We're not crazy. Yeah. So well, I don't know. Doesn't what... seem like much. Oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the color. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> oh, no, no. Do you remember though, when you guys baked it, it looked like more black than green? So maybe the color is definitely. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're, not, we're, not gonna, we're not here to talk about the past right now. No, 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 no. Julia, you need to know where you came from to know where you're going. Oh, true, 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 true. So, true, true, true. you know, past experiences do help to know the present. So true, true. I, I really think it, the color might come out more when you make it. It looks slightly, if we, hmm. It does look more green, but it, I Just would, very slightly. It's a tint change, it's not like an actual, like we didn't, we put a, uh, I'm making terms, we tinted it, we didn't put a party really filter on it. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> we gotta put a party filter on it to make it super green. Do you wanna add a little bit more? How about one more, one more. We okay. won't go three, we'll go two. Okay. If it doesn't do it this, like with the one more scoop, then right, we'll right. split it. I guess we're not gonna have green neck tarts. Wow. Okay. That's a good green. Yeah, that's a yeah. good green. That's a green. That's a good green. No. Oh, yeah, that thing so is so simple, but it's actually. <laughs> Y'all are fancy, man. You yeah, guys got. Super fancy. Do it. Oh, Father, what you can get at Jumbi. <laughs> right there. See, oh. You can check out uh, the link in the description. Use our code TIFFCASE for 10% off. <laughs> there you go. This is beautiful. Is it green? Yeah. Oh. Definitely, if we compare it to our custard, our first batch true, of custard, okay, okay. it's good, it's a good color. show off his new camera because he heard I had I got a new FX3. So what is this like a camera measuring contest? Uh pretty much. They didn't get Here we go. Oven is opening. Mucho caliente. Nice. Please cook well. Alright, look at this. We got some matcha egg tarts. We got some classic uh, egg tart. Slightly under burnt, we want it more burnt, right? Yeah, but it actually looks really cooked. Like, yeah. I'm afraid it might be like really, um, not like a smooth texture, but like a fluffy texture. A scrambled egg yeah. texture. Yeah. Custards are a little tricky. In the last video we made about egg tarts, we undercooked the matcha ones because, 
Well, we undercooked it. This time, to compensate for the undercooked egg tarts, we might have overcooked it. Because you don't want that egg starting to look like scrambled eggs. Honestly, I felt like the first time we made it ever was, was the, the best. perfect time. It was the best. It was the perfect one. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Oh! Oh! Yeah, just scoop it back in. It, still, it tastes the same. It was like a little overcooked. Yeah. Scrambled mm. eggs. I think we maybe overcooked the custard prior to baking. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so we um, made six egg tarts and we decided that we should go one more round and do another six maybe. Uh, we're gonna make another batch of custard because we have extra dough. So we're gonna do another flavor, a third flavor. Guess what flavor we're doing? Well, we were drinking a flavor earlier today. So we figured why not bring that flavor into the egg tart that we're making? So we're gonna do Hong Kong milk tea flavored egg tarts. So I made a concentrate of uh, tea here. I'm gonna add some condensed milk to this and we're gonna add all that into the batter. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, look at that. Hong Kong milk tea in the oven. Bam. Let's see what we got. Oh, that looks really good. Wow. That looks really good. I think another five minutes, I think we're good. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds really satisfying. It does sound good. Mm. Yeah? Not bad. Okay, sure? okay. Not bad. Dig in, everybody. I think there's like the one for everyone. Uh, one okay. of each flavor for everyone. Try the green tea. Mm. Is it, does the matcha come through? Because last time it was too matcha y, mm -hmm. right? It's very slight, but still tastes like pretty egg custardy. Mm. Oh, God. I'm experiencing this for so long. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Isaac's a fan of my homemade uh, egg tarts. Even the bad ones, the deformed and ugly ones. You're like, those are bomb. I'm your ultimate supporter. Thank you. Mm, that's good. Yeah, can I have a bite? Mm. I, need, I think I need to bring a lunchbox. It's good, right? Like, it has a nice, the vanilla really came through. Pat, Ryan, what do you guys think? Really good. You like yeah. it? I'm full milk. <laughs> Did the matcha come through in your opinion or does it just- I'm still eating it. <laughs> He's like, let me enjoy it. I just gotta know. Okay, this is a Hong Kong milk tea. Ooh. Wait, I am missing out on this tasting okay. test. Oh yeah, uh, grab a plate. Oh, I've seen, I see bites of all three. All right. no, no, you're, you're going. The milk tea is aggressive. Milk tea is aggressive? Yeah. I, I That's don't taste the matcha, but the milk tea is aggressive. Okay, yeah. okay, let me try this. Try the matcha one. You guys have perfectionist, you do something big. Okay. You know the milk tea doesn't yeah, taste right. as sweet. Yeah, it doesn't. It's got that like slight bitter edge to it. Mm. What do you think? Mm. I feel like it still tastes a little eggy, but it's not I, as I, sweet. I as taste it too. Yeah. I definitely taste it. It mm. is aggressive, and it kind of reminds me of chocolate. I thought really? It was chocolate in the beginning. Mm. You thought it was chocolate? Yeah, I didn't know. And then you guys said it was milk tea. Mm -hmm. I like the custard, it's so custardy. Mmm, this one's good. Yeah? I like the I like the milk tea one. I don't, I don't think it's as strong as you guys are saying. Yeah! I, I don't a, know. It's the strongest flavor out of the three. Like, yeah, I'm gonna say even I can't, I can't taste the matcha personally. Yeah. Mm. I can't taste the matcha either. Yeah. Yeah. 